hey guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to tell you how to write code with chat GPT so if you don't know what chat GPT is you must be living under a rock so um, yeah there's a few things that you can do with chat GPT you can write scripts you can write YouTube scripts you can do all that stuff which is actually crazy and chat GPT produces pretty high quality scripts so yeah I'm gonna just hop straight into it um, I've got a few examples right so I'm gonna just go ahead and copy this so yeah we just want to write a C method that accepts git and uh, let's give it a go sure here's an example and you can tell it's like not the perfect code but like it's crazy how it could just write this. And yeah, you can just copy the code right here. Uh, regenerate response. Yeah, so that's just one of them. I'm gonna try another one now. So this one will be a good example. Say it's literally writing like good morning, good afternoon, and yeah, chat GPT is definitely the wave it's going to take over a lot of jobs. Hopefully, you're not my one. So, you, as you can see, it's written a code for me. Uh, I'm just going to read this out. This method first gets the current hour of the day using datetime.now.hour, it then uses and if else statement to determine which greeting to use based on the hour if the hour is between 0 to 12 inclusive it returns good morning and uses the input name if the hour is between 12 to 18 inclusive it returns good afternoon and then uses the input name if the hour is greater than or equal to the 18 it returns good evening and replaces the input name with Stephen you can call this method like this so as you can see, C sharp. This will output good morning, John, or good afternoon, John, or good evening, Stephen, based on the current time of the day. So yeah, as you can see, it's a great tool. Um, I've got one more I can show you. Uh, let's see, show me the new code for get greeting. So let's just plug that in there. C sharp and yeah it's writing code like it's crazy yeah this method is similar to the previous one but it takes the current time as a parameter instead of getting it from date time dot now it still uses an if else statement to determine which greeting to use based on the hour it also uses the input name in the greeting without changing it you can call this method like this and yeah uh, that's pretty much it if you want to give this a try go to openai.com uh, yeah and plug these scripts in if you're a coder you should know what scripts you would want it to write and yeah and that's it for today's video uh, thank you bye